Today, Joe Egan joins the Prank Patrol. His mission? To give his best friend Aaron a brush with the law that he'll never forget. This is Prank Patrol, where we help people like you pull off the prank of their lives. We're back. Prank Patrol is bigger and better than ever. And it needs to be, judging by all the letters that I've got from you guys. Anyway, enough of this talking. Let's go find our prankster. That's definitely our prankster. Pilot, take us down. Let's go get our prankster. Joe! You're Joe Egan. Yeah. Did you apply for Prank Patrol's help? Yep. You're going for it already, aren't you? Congratulations, mate. You are the newest member of the team. Well done. You're going to need that, hi, Dad. You're also going to need this. That is your pass to prank. Well done. Thank you. Dad, I'm going to need him for a bit. Is that OK? That's fine with me. No problem at all. Nice one, lovely. Joe, follow me. See you later. Meet our newest prankster, 11-year-old Joe Egan from Bolton. Joe loves playing basketball, and when he's older, he wants to be an actor or join the police force. Joe's most embarrassing moment was when his nine-year-old sister Claire put lipstick on him while he was sleeping. Joe says that his dad is ace, but he does tend to keep everyone awake with his snoring. I've got to say, Joe, snoring dads, that's the worst, isn't it? Right, then, take a seat, talk to me. Who are we pranking? Well, I think we'll prank my mate Aaron. Your mate Aaron? Yeah. OK, why? Well, he's very cheeky to me and he always laughs out loud. He laughs at you? Yeah. Well, that's not very nice, is it? Give me an example. Well, I was playing guitar for my mum's 40th birthday and he came in really late with his family, started laughing. I was really embarrassed and I lost my rhythm. Hang on a minute, you're playing an important gig here. You need support from your mates. He turned up late and he laughed at you and he put you off. <laughs> yeah. We're going to prank him back for that. Yeah. Before we do, and before we talk about it, let's find out a bit more about Aaron. Take a look. Joe describes Aaron as cheeky, funny, and the most gullible of all his friends. They've been mates since they were four years old and play rugby, football, and go biking together. Aaron loves to be the centre of attention and is sometimes too quick-witted for Joe's liking. And I think it's time we brought him down a peg or two. I have never seen a more worthy candidate for a prank. We're going to get him, OK? Any ideas? I just want him to get in serious trouble, if you know what I mean. Serious trouble? Happens to be my speciality, as it happens. Listen, what I was thinking is, um, you, you like acting, yeah. and you like the idea of being a police officer hey, one day. Hello, hello. So what if we pull off a police prank and we get you to act in it? That sounds brilliant. Yeah. What have you got in mind? Listen, right, we're going to get Aaron to go to a real police station, OK? So he's in real trouble, OK? Uh, we're going to set up some fake evidence that plants him as a criminal, all right? Yeah. We can maybe have a fake lie detector test as well. Identity so that it... parade. Identity parade. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, uh, maybe fingerprints as well. We can really go for it. Yeah. Have a bit of fun with that one. Um, but I like to crank the prank up a little bit from time to time, and we haven't done a robot prank for ages. How about if we have a police crime-fighting robot that goes berserk nuts and chases after you and Aaron? and chase you out the joint for a crime that you didn't commit. <laughs> this is brilliant. We've got a crime-fighting police robot, we've got fake evidence that we're going to plant, we've got a fake lie detector test that's going to prove that he's the criminal, and to top it all off, he's going to get chased out by a crazy robot. Sound cool? Cool. Let's do it. Ninjas, take us to... What are you doing? This is serious. We want to get pranking. Come on, take us to Prank HQ, pronto. And here we are, Prank HQ. What do you think? Wow, it's fantastic. It's awesome, isn't it? Yeah. This is where all the police per rank of magic happens. We've got quite a lot to do in quite a short space of time, though. So, first stop, design department. Follow Let's me. Go. 
Now, for those of you who have seen Prank Patrol before, you'll know our resident design artist, Dave. How you doing, mate? Dave, meet Joe. Joe, meet Hi. Dave. Nice to meet you. Now, listen, Dave, we need some designs. We need a bit of help here. We need to come up with some sort of police crime-fighting robot yeah. that, that we can fool Aaron with, don't we? Mm. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Start with some body armour. Uh, maybe a big helmet of some description. Uh, it's a bit too over the top and a bit too big. OK, right. Uh... Well, we could have a square head with a human face, but it's like a TV. A human, human TV, TV head. head? Yeah, that's cool. OK. Perfect. It'll look good. It's much more like it's it that day, I think, yeah. It's going to scare the hebes out of Aaron. It's going to scare the hebes out of him. That's what we like. <laughs> Dave, that's absolutely bang on that, mate. Right. Well done. Listen, we'll leave you to it to finish off your masterpiece. Uh, we've got a bit of important work to do now, though, Joe. We've got to go and do the casting. All right, follow me. See you later, Dave. Now, Joe, we're going to need somebody to play the part of this revolutionary police robot, OK? And I was thinking that, you know, you might want to... me to play it. Uh. Well then, Mr. Body Popper, let's see what you got. Right, I was thinking first up, right, the voice is very important for a robot. So I'll do my, I'll do my voice impression for you. I am a robot. I can walk like this. I can move my knees. I am, I am walking like a robot. That was brilliant. Was it really? No. Oh. OK, well, that's fine. Obviously a critic. I can, I can sort that out. Here's something more specialised, OK? The facial features. Very important you get that right when you're a robot, OK? So the smiley face, sad face. You seen it? Watch this, watch this. Watch this. That's robot-like, isn't it? Garbage. Garbage, garbage. That, okay. Um, watch this. Ready? The ultimate finale. This is it. The audition piece to end all audition pieces. Ninjas, hit it! I am a robot. I am a robot. I am a dancing robot. But I am also in the police force in my spare time. And I can arrest people, lift them up and put them out of the door. Oh, Barney, you're rubbish. Was I really? Oh, come on, ninjas. I wasn't that bad, was I? Oh, well, I, I tell you what. While I recover from that last dance move, here's a prank you can do at home. Oh, help me out, Joe. <laughs> Recipe for a prank. Rise and prank. Want to treat your target to some unexpected fun? Well, let's make a prank. Take a newspaper, some tape, and while your target is asleep, cover their bedroom doorway entirely with newspaper. The next morning, they should run into your handiwork from the night before. And to make the prank more fun, do it again. On the third time, liven up the prank by adding a tower of empty tin cans on the other side of the newspaper. A smashing finale to your prize-winning prank. Now, since it was deemed that I would be unsuitable to play the robot in this prank, because I'm rubbish, yeah, it's very good, uh, Joe has decided to call in our movement expert. So, ninjas, whenever you're ready, please reveal our robot. What do you reckon? Do you think Aaron will like that? Yeah, he's looking good. Yeah, it doesn't look very human, does it? Of course, it is a human. This is, this is Jerry. Jerry, this is Joe. Joe, this is Jerry. Oh, hi, Joe. Now, you're doing the robot moves for us, so you need to talk us through yes, this well so that we know what's going on. OK. It doesn't no look problem. that easy, actually. It's quite difficult to do the old... Yeah, it can be a bit tricky, but what you're doing is really outrageous, this prank. So you're going to need to make it really believable, OK? OK. So what you need to do is try and keep your joints as stiff as possible when you're moving, OK? And then whenever you stop, tense your muscles. Give that pop, OK? Pop. So gives it, yeah, gives it that robotic sort of feel. OK, you pop, pop. That's it. Exactly. Got it. Stay Just move yep. and pop. Move and pop. That's it, Joe. And what, Got it. what about what about head movements? Are they the same? Move okay. and pop? Yep, you can just move your chest. That's not easy, that twist, is. then move your head. Okay. Pop. Like your legs. Pop. Same. 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 Keep keep them stiff as well. So twist it, pop, turn, pop. Move. I think I think pop. we'll leave this to the experts. Got I think it. I think Joe, you, you are the robot without a doubt. You certainly move like one, but you don't look like one yet. No, and so yet. we need to go to see Darren in costume and he'll uh, get you suited and booted. Follow us. OK. Hey, Daz. How you doing, fella? Hello. Good to see you again, man. Hello. This is Joe. Now, listen, Hello. Jerry, of course, you know. We need to now find out what's happening with Jerry because he needs to be turned into a police robot. Yeah. OK, well, what as we you doing? can see, I've been extremely busy, but using Dave's finished oh, drawing... Oh, great, we haven't seen this yet. Look at that. It's amazing. That, that is the police robot we're talking about, isn't it? 
Brilliant. So how do we turn uh, this guy here into this guy here? Well, I think the first thing, Barney, is we need to do is we need to get Jerry into that lovely little leotard there. Oh, go on, Jerry, work it. Thanks very much. You go for that, Jerry. All right, then. And the next thing we need to do, basically, is uh, finish off doing the rest of the body armour, which I've got pieces here that we need to glue on, spray down, and we're done. We're going to do a bit of spray painting. Absolutely, In that yeah, case, so... uh, Joe, put your mask on. Off Health you. and safety, right. thank you very much. Nice Let's one. get to it. Darren helped us make the robot look as futuristic as possible. But will Aaron believe that the police robot will one day patrol the streets? Yeah, that looks like all the now, so it's all looking pretty good. Brilliant, nice one. Happy with that, Joe? Yeah, it's looking great. Great. Let's get Jerry in. I'll tell you what, guys, I think we're almost there. I think that's it. Oh, yes. Joe, what do you reckon? It is fantastic. It's better than I thought it would be. Really? In that case, you're going to love this. Stay there and watch this. Hello, Joe. Oh, yes. <laughs> How cool is this, man? Of course, uh, we're going to change the face a little bit as well so that people don't recognise me. And we're going to sort the voice out too. But uh, apart from that, we're all ready to go. Do you like it? Yeah. Nice one. Well, listen, Joe, do me a favour. Follow me over here. We've got to go and test the lie detector, OK? That's what's going to frame your best mate and make this thing go berserk. Whoa, whoa, ah, whoa, ha, whoa, 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 steady on. Now, listen, you may have fooled me, kid, but you're not fooling this lie detector machine here. Now, I'm going to ask you one more time. Where is my greatest hits album by Sam and Mark? I have no idea at all. Well, it would appear the machine begs to differ. It would also appear that you are a liar. I am not. The machine thinks differently. Of course it does, because I'm pressing the button here, just so you know. Uh, I am in complete control of the lie detector test, and this is how we're going to fool Aaron. Whenever he says anything, even if it's the truth, we're going to hit this button here, and the machine will tell him it's a lie. So while we're on this level, and while we're talking about, you know, telling the truth and everything, I just thought I'd say to you, you know, that I'm great friends with the ninjas, you know, and that I can see their pranks coming off a mile away. <laughs> hey, I'm miles better at pranking than the ninjas. Hey, th there'd be nothing without my brains. Well, there's something wrong. I mean, I'm not even pressing the button. Is it? Hang on a second. What's this wire for? Oh, ninjas. <laughs> to make our target Aaron feel really guilty, Joe and I set about creating a CD full of faked top secret government information. We're going to plant this evidence at his house to make him look guilty in the eyes of the law. OK, so we've created the fake evidence to incriminate Aaron. Check. OK, we've got a police robot to freak him out. Check. Nice. Uh, fake lie detector. Check. Beautiful. We've got the lifetime supply of beans with extra sauce. No, we haven't. Only kidding, that's for a different prank. Yes. OK, uh, just one more thing. Uh, Dave left these pictures behind before. God. Look at that guy. Oh, He's a dodgy character. Oh, uh, we've also got this dude here. Oh. He looks a bit like you there, doesn't he? Uh, we're going to put those in the police station as well and see if Aaron suspects anything. But apart from that, we're all set. Ninjas, load the van. Oh, and we need to stop at Aaron's house. Just, uh, just drop something off. OK, so we've just arrived at our target. That's Aaron's house. He's in there right now. We're going to drop off the CD, which is the incriminating evidence, which involves Aaron in this whole thing. I've got your gear here so he doesn't suspect anything. Good luck. I'll see you back here in a minute. OK. I hope he buys it. How was it? How did it's it go? fantastic. Has he bought it? Yep. So far, so good. Beautiful. There's your gear again. There's your watch. Yeah. Beautiful. Let's go. Ninjas, step on it. <laughs> so here we are, Joe. 
Welcome to Prank Location. Now, I've got to say I'm very excited about this. This is the most ambitious we have ever been on Prank Patrol. Inside this building are all the Prank Locations. After you, let's go and check them out. OK, Joe, this is the office block that we're going to be pretending is the police headquarters. We're going to dress all this. It's called set dressing, where you put posters up to make it look realistic. This is the reception area. And we'll have some police officers standing here as well. We'll get some actors to help us out with that. This is the room where the lie detector test is going to be. And on the right-hand side, after you, you can see there the big wall. That's still being built. But actually, in here is going to be our crime-fighting robot. This, of course, is the wall that he's going to come crashing through and grab Aaron at the end. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's wicked. You can see there's still quite a bit more to be done. So, uh, ninjas, come on, get to it. Oh, well, that's great news. The ninjas are ready. Are you ready, Joe? Definitely. Let's talk through the prank, then. You've planted the fake evidence with Aaron. He's got a game CD, or at least he thinks it is, but actually it's top secret government information. I've typed up a police letter, which Aaron has a copy of. Basically, it just goes through loads of details, and it invites yeah. you and a friend to a police careers day. But not really. Well, of course, that's our pranking setup. So we need to call Aaron now and find out if he's going to be here, because hopefully he is. If he's not, it'll be a short prank. So we need to find out. All right. Make that call. Hello, is that Aaron? Yeah. Hey, are you still set up for tomorrow? Um, what is that? What? Yeah. Good, because I just wanted to double check because I didn't want to be on my own. So, yeah, okay. I'll come and see you tomorrow afternoon. OK, thanks. OK, see you later. Bye. Bye. Beautiful. I'll have one of those, please. Aaron is going to be there at Come our on. fake police careers day. Anything could happen. Now, listen, before we get ready for the prank, take a look at this. Your friends and family have got something to say to you. Joe, good luck. Really, really proud of you. And if anybody can pull this off, you certainly can. Hi, uh, Joe. It's your dad. Hope the prank goes well, mate. All right, Joe, lad. It's your rabbit here. I'm just uh, wishing you well with a prank. Got to go. Oh, well, that's all the support anybody ever needs for a prank. Come on, Come on Joe. So, we're all set for Joe's police prank on his best mate, Aaron. Will Aaron think it's a fair cop? Keep watching to find out. Now, we've just heard that Aaron is only moments away from arriving, so we've got one last chance to check out the prank room, make sure that you're happy with it. As you can see, it looks a bit different. We have police officers here now. Hello, police officers. We've got Jenny on reception. Hi, Jenny. This is PC Neil Taylor. He's going to be the police officer in charge today. Are you up for this, Neil? Oh, yes. I think we're going to give Aaron a right good prank today, Joe. Now, that is a confident face right there. He's a believable police officer. You feeling OK with this? Uh, I was a bit unsure before, but now I'm really confident. Nice one. OK, follow me. One more part of the room to check out. During the prank, Aaron will be told to stand against this wall, cool. known as the line-up wall. Now, he'll think he's here just to make up the numbers, but actually, this is when he'll be framed for the crime. Wicked. How's he going to react? I think he's going to be absolutely terrified. I really hope so. Next. Come on. So once you've been to the line-up, you get led through here to the Future Technologies room. You can see DS Clive Cooper over there. Hello, sir. Hi, how are you doing? Uh, DS Clive Cooper is very scary and very intimidating, and that's why we've asked him to ask Aaron all the questions using our lie detector, which, of course, is fake. And uh, DS Clive Cooper is, in fact, a prank patrol actor. Lovely to have you here, sir. Nice to meet you. Over here, we can see Jerry. We know Jerry is our futuristic crime-fighting robot. Are you all ready? Sure am. Look at that. Very nice. You're going to be behind there, of course, breaking through the wall and through the glass and everything. Mm -hmm. It's all going to be covered on our cameras. There's one right there. Hello. One up there. And there's one just here. Hello. So we're all set and ready to go. You two? Definitely. Let's get ready. Oh, and ninjas, hide the van. <laughs> the blueprint for Joe's police prank is a careers day at the local police station, where some fake evidence and one phony lie detector machine make our target out to be a hardened criminal. And for the finale, a revolutionary crime-fighting police robot that goes berserk and chases after our rather surprised target. Hello, hello, hello. I think it's prank time. Aaron has just arrived, and he genuinely believes he's here for a police careers day. There's PC Neil Taylor saying hello and giving the boys their special police vests that contain hidden microphones so that we can hear everything they say. Let the pranking commence. Welcome to Manchester Police Headquarters, lads, yeah? This is the nerve centre for the entire police network, this. 
What I'd like you to do is to sign in and also we'll get your prints. We have to do this now because obviously we do have some top secret stuff on this floor. This is PC Jenny Cooper. Now, we don't use conventional fingerprinting anymore, guys, because basically what it does, people can forge fingerprints. You can actually buy synthetic skin now on the internet. What? So what we do, we ask you if we can do a full face print. It's a new European legislation, yeah? Because mm -hmm. it's harder to copy. You've got that many features okay. on your face that you literally cannot copy your face. So the PC Cooper is going to assist you. If you want to step up, Joe, and we'll just get yours first, yeah? Just to put these on, guys, just to get your hair out of your face, because we don't want to get any paint on your face. <laughs> Good lad. Let's get you done first, Joe. Now, you've probably so, guessed that there is no such thing as a police face print. Joe's going to go first so that Aaron will hopefully follow his lead. <laughs> Leave that one there. Perfect. Oh, make sure your eyes are closed. Tight. And relax. Just roll your head to the left. That's it. Then to the right. And then put your chin back like that. That's it. That's it. Oh, that's brilliant, that. That's absolutely great. How's that feel, yeah? It feels dead straight. Is that OK? Yep, I'll get yeah. those from through the computer now. We'll leave these with uh, PC Cooper. We'll go and get you guys cleaned up. Now that the boys are cleaned up, it's time for a tour of our fake police station. First stop, the gym, where new recruits are trained in martial arts. And even PC Neil got to show his stuff. <laughs> got to be prepared. <laughs> now then, you two guys, I have to say you're very privileged to see this next area, yeah? yeah. So if you'd like to follow me, guys, yeah? As you can see, lads, this is our Futures Technology Laboratory, yeah? I'd just like to stand over here, guys, because what I'm about to show you is quite surprising, yeah? This that is, is our, wicked. Yeah, it is, isn't it? This that is, is our fantastic. PC 2012. Is a fully mechanical police officer, oh. yeah? What do you think of that? It's Good. brilliant. Yeah. Do you want to see how it works? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah? yeah. Let's just see if we can get him to respond. Hello, PC 2012. How are you today? Good afternoon, PC Neil Taylor. Have you had a crime-free day? Wicked. Yeah. Brilliant. I have had a crime-free day, yes, unless you call eating my wife's grapefruit a crime. The taking of any possession without consent is considered theft under the Criminal Justice Act 1986. <laughs> Suspect so should be advised of this yeah. violation. Yeah, all right, all right, enough of that. <laughs> That's the problem with this robot. He doesn't actually <laughs> have any human emotions. He, oh. he sees everything in black and white, you know. He, I mean, I'm not going to go to prison for eating my wife. It's a grapefruit, am I, you know? Okay. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Never. No? <laughs> no? Yeah. How would you like him to be your partner when you're in the police? Can you imagine walking that street with that big bad boy, yeah? Hello? Now that we have Aaron totally yeah. convinced the police robot is genuine, let's yeah. see how he gets on without PC Neil in the room. Is it just me, or does Aaron look a little nervous? Hi, right, guys. Listen, we've got a bit of a situation, yeah? We've got, we're doing an actual identity parade today, you know, for a proper criminal. Oh, we, yeah, we, we do it, yeah, know. yeah. Unfortunately, two of the people are stuck in traffic on the motorway. If you guys want to, I've had a word with your parents. They said it's OK if you it want to take them. Like, they won't, they won't pick you because we know, we actually know that B is the person who did the crime, yeah? Or do we? Anything can happen in a prank patrol lineup, especially one hosted by DC Clive Cooper. OK, guys, I'd just like to tell you that the setup here for the identity parade is we use this camera and it relays an image down to our control room where the witness. Uh, can view you and study you from there. Say, so I'm going to ask you to step forward one at a time um, and ask you to do various things and we'll take you from there. Is that all right? Oh, he's looking nervous. All right, A, can you step forward, please, and tell me your name? Um, Stand back, B. Joshua. Oh, Josh, next one. Michael. D. Aaron. Aaron, well done, Aaron. Come forward. Joe. Hello, Joe, thanks. And you, young sir? Tom. Well done, Tom. Are you with the end, please, sir? Well done, Luke. Right, just bear with me, guys, woman. I need to um, talk to my sergeant here. Uh, I wonder who he's going to pick. Are you sure? Is it? Right. OK, guys, could um, B and D please uh -huh. step forward? The criminals were wearing black wigs and black berries. Could we get them to wear those items, please? Right, don't smile, sir. It's serious, this. Thanks. That's how to do that. can't be right, is it? 
OK, we've had a word, and the witness thinks... It's D. D? There's got to be some mistake there. Well, oh dear, things aren't looking too good for Aaron, and they're going oh. to get a whole lot worse because DC Clive Cooper is about to bring out the fake evidence that we made earlier at Prank HQ. Just, uh, if you like to stay with it, I'm sorry about this. I'm just look here. Have we seen this? All these data files and information, government secrets. I've got your parents downstairs in one of our witnessing rooms, and the sooner you come clean with whatever's going on here, the sooner you can go home. Is that understood? Yeah. What is going on? Well, that's what we need to find out. Somebody's lying about something here. Well, it's not us, cos we've only just come here for today. Have you ever seen these files before, you guys? No. Pardon? No. You take this no. young man away from me and I'll see what his accomplice has right, to you say You come with me, you. Joe. Now that Joe's out of the way, DC Cooper prepares Aaron for the lie detector. But first, he has to explain how it works. So, um, if you know something, it will enable me to know it, you know? Um, and then I'll know everything you know. So if you know everything and I know everything, that everything's all right. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh. Ooh. What's that mean? Well, why lie about that? Uh, you just said you was lying then. I don't I can't understand it. I'm going to be confused here. It's a bit strange, isn't it? Yeah. See what I've got here. It says you're dealing in government secrets, and and these are the documents here. Um, have you given, been given any CDs, any files from him? Yeah, he gave me a game. He gave you a game. Yeah. Are you in on this with him? No. Is Joe a criminal? Joe a criminal? Yeah. No. Are you hiding something? Are you lying to me? No. There you go, you're lying again. I can't believe a word you say. Let's get this straight. My head's all over the place here. You're lying. This thing's buzzing off. I need to get your mate Joe back in here. Something with this young man doesn't add up. He doesn't add up with it. I'm going to see his parents downstairs, and he might be staying overnight yet. I don't know. I'll, I'll be back in a minute. What did you tell him? Did anyone give you, give you any discs? You know, the top secret files I've got ahead at home. We've got to get out of here. Joe's doing a fantastic job of convincing Aaron that they've done something wrong. So I think it's time to crank the prank. Cue the robot. There you are, criminal escaping. Oh, 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 and Aaron, Aaron, Joe Egan, and Aaron, Aaron. Yeah? Do you have something to tell Aaron? You've just been pranked by the prank patrol. There he is. Hello. Hi, Aaron. How are you doing, fella? Fine. Coming in. You yeah, have well and truly been pranked by the prank patrol. What a great sport, though, Joey. <laughs> Everybody, a round of applause for Aaron. He did very well. <laughs> the best bit about prank patrol is absolutely everything, because it's just been one of my lifetime experiences and wish I could do it again. The lie detector test worked an absolute treat. Aaron didn't know what was going on, whether he was... I don't even think he knew he was telling the truth at some point. At first, I was a bit curious about why they were doing it. I thought it could have been more technical or something, but I just went along with it. Oh, Aaron definitely believed the police were all, but in fact, I did. <laughs> Watching the kids run off scared, that just made my day. But when it smashed out at us and started chasing us, I believe that it was real. It was so funny when Aaron started screaming and running out of the room. It was absolutely hilarious. I don't think Aaron's ever going to get me back again, so... Yeah, watch your back. I'm going to get you big. Ring it, boy. been looking at some exclusive clips from the new series of Prank Patrol, which you can see wow. on the website, bbc.co.uk slash cbbc. Wow. Uh, but this is the part of the afternoon where we try and convince you to turn over to the CBBC channel. Wow. And uh, I haven't written anything. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm an old one. You've written something for me. Wow. What is it? He that for that. He never got a while. The poem? Wow. Oh, well, might as well do that then. Go on, if you go. Wow. Did he? Yeah. Oh. <clears throat> Did I want about the that I fought that war? I said about Allah. They call up a door. They form a kicker, but they live a wall. They're people of air, they're for boy of wool. Oh, lovely. Wow. They're both gonna kill a wall. They kill them all a wall. They're people of Oka, they see with the A. They're playing the ball, they're from an A. They're low with a kicker, they're all of a car. The end. They're for the little wall. They're similar to all of us. They're killing my evil to wash. They're never laugh for the boy. They're killing my off. They're killing my off. They see the boy on all. And if it does, mm. well, while he goes on with that, you have a look at this clip. 
from the today's blue Peter, Peter, uh, it's where Zoe oh. tries to save a poor little parrot from the streets of Bolivia. Oh. He's got the parrot. That seemed quite straightforward. There was a bit of anger in the middle there, but this sort of thing does go on every single day. And at least we have got one of the parrots back and well, we can get it to the sanctuary and hopefully can spend some time there recovering. Uh, that we on in just a minute. You better watch out. I might send you to the streets of Bolivia if you keep on with this poem. Mm. Legge la form, gira la cala, chi colla te la? Ha di fitu, te fuma la tiga, te le bodo tu. Da! The Plank Invasion has landed. Yeah! Hit it! I'm pranking my friend, Tommy. Kick it! Let's crank the prank up one more notch. You can pretend that you can't see him. It makes you invisible. See where she is, Thomas. I'm now machine technology. Well, We're so excited about this. Can you move the stool for us? They're back and bigger than ever. Prank Patrol, next Tuesday at 4.30, CBBC on BBC One. Okay.